with battle trolls having been mentioned in the previous part, I think, uh, and, and I, I don't have any notes for that, uh, in case you see my eyes looking uh, back and forth, it's uh, basically looking at my two screens and trying to get a sense of, uh, of what I'm doing. So, in the previous two parts I was uh, talking about patent trolls, which kind of leads me to think, and I should say something about patent trolls, as the people who hack the system. Uh, the patent trolls don't have any innovation they actually file for. Uh, they usually buy patents, and their goal is to try and maximize the profit that they can make with patents going around to companies and trying to sue them. And of course, a patent troll cannot be sued back because they don't have any products to be sued over. So a patent troll is a, uh, a kind of an entity that couldn't be sued back. It just works in one way. Patent trolls can try and collect uh, money off you uh, by filing a lawsuit in places like Texas, which are very friendly towards patent trolls. Uh, they will have some software patents. In about 40% 40, 40 of the cases, the patent trolls are in fact using software patents for whatever reasons, and it can be explained in a different video, I suppose, why that's the case. Uh, and the patent trolls themselves, what they do is they increase the cost to industry, they only make money for patent lawyers, for people in the courtroom, which in terms kind of, you know, in, in, in terms of employment, you know, they actually harm the developers and uh, also the consumers to raise, to raise the prices of products and move it over to the uh, lawyers community in some sense, uh, or the trolls community. Uh, some very rich patent trolls exist, you know, absolute millionaires who basically just go around with patents and hack the system uh, of patents. So we, we have to do to try and do something about that. Uh, I'll explain what the patent system was supposed to achieve and what it, where it is today in the next few videos, I, I believe. Um, I also uh, I wanted to try and say something very quick about that the notion of patents and those who earn patents, companies like Microsoft and IBM, each of which has like tens of thousands of patents and they create a sort of cartels where they have a big collection of patents and if you try to attack them because you have a product they probably will have or be able to purchase something to attack you back with. Uh, so the patents work very well for the big companies who cartelize themselves in some sense. They kind of uh, conspire against people and create those small cartels or as they call them patent pool which is a euphemism to uh, create a thicket and create a barrier to new developers entering the market so that can be any small developer and not necessarily an open source software, it's free software developers they will always be affected as well as proprietary software developers all of them suffer from patents equally uh, just by, because they write algorithms and it doesn't matter if it's free and if it's open and if it's uh, whatever license it is it's just, it's just for them to tax uh, so that's the state. That these are the ones who benefit from the patent system. It's mostly patent lawyers, patent trolls, which are almost the same thing in some cases, and the big companies which also employ the uh, the patent lawyers. Uh, they usually get all the masses of patents for 